What up, you two? Cliff Beast, no script, off the rip, coming at you with a long ass video in this bitch. <laughs> this looks like to be uh, 18 minutes long, so it's probably gonna be a very long video. Uh, Shady Cipher. Everyone kept telling, kept telling me I have to check this out. People were saying just check out Eminem's verse. I don't know what that means. I'm guessing that there's multiple people in this, so uh, I'm not gonna do that. I don't do no cuts, no edits. We're going to check them all out. If you're new to my channel, do me a favor, throw me a like, subscribe, hit the red button. Uh, I don't even know who's all rapping, though. So we're about to find out. Do me a favor, throw this video a like. Please subscribe to Eminem Music. And uh, that's what I'm here for, is just to show love. Even if you don't want to like, subscribe to me, which you should. Big mistake if you don't like, subscribe. And uh, we're going to check this out. Hopefully my headset doesn't die mid-fucking reaction. Fasten your seatbelt, we're going for a ride. It's Shady. CXV. Cypher time. Let's go. Since the video was so long, it'll probably be more of me just watching it and reacting to it and pointing stuff out instead of me breaking every single fucking thing down because it's going to be a long video. Get your popcorn ready! King Crooked, East Side, Long Beach, California. Crooked Eye? No. My name is King Crooked. I snap on you rappers often. When I'm spazzing, I'm just getting my passionate point across like a hood cat clapping his hands when he's talking. Now that I got your attention. Getting my point across like a hood cat, hood cat clapping his hands when he's talking, but clapping, clapping his hands when he's talking. You know, when someone's like. Yeah, uh, you gotta understand. Passing the point across like a hood cat clapping his hands when he's talking. Now that I got your attention, I feel I should really mention. Don't come around here flossing big willies, we willy lynch him. Pull out the chopper, rappers hitting the ground like every bar's a bullet. When I pull it, it sound like. A couple of bullets are coming your way, then it jam like, God damn. Then I pick up something quick and start killing everything in the vicinity. The proximity, the Glock send me beyond your simity, Sam. Bam, bam, your body drop. Damn, damn, karate chop. The Beretta's a better competitor. Pop, pop, turn your sweater to a crop top. Killing you and whoever in that drop top, et cetera, et cetera. And it will not stop. Just shoot, shoot like doo, doo, and buku, buku. I'm cuckoo. I'm a star going. Shoot, shoot. What are you saying? Buku, buku. <laughs> it's me. They had an entire gun scheme, dude. That was nasty. It was like a four bar dragged out gun scheme in double time. Stop, just shoot, shoot like do, do, and buku, buku. I'm cuckoo. I'm a star going to war with you clones like Count Dooku. I'm war. I'm a star, Star Wars star going to war with you clowns like Count Dooku. Oh man, Count Dooku, if you're familiar with the Star Wars series, he's a villain. Buku, buku, I'm cuckoo. I'm a star going to war with you clones like Count Dooku. I'm worlds apart from you rappers. Like I walk in a booth, rocking a bio suit made of plastic, and NASA's galactic elastic, traveling through space, interstellar rapping, broadcasting from uninhibited planets. When I come back, that's it. You see a flash in the sky, it's that nigga eye. When I land, you whack niggas die, and your casket is your last hit. You whack bitch. <laughs> he compared himself to a meteor, right? This man said I'm a meteor when I hit the when I hit the planet on. Huh? Inhibited planets. When I come back, that's it. You see a flash in the sky, it's that nigga eye. When I land, you whack niggas die, and your casket is your last hit. You whack bitch, <laughs> fucking bastard. Back to the hand clapping. You die quicker than Darren Wilson walking through Ferguson, dressed like the Grand Dragon of the Clan, passing niggas with pants sagging with their hand on a black magnum to clap him backwards so they last words is up that man zagging. That's backwards for fuck them damn niggas, buck uh. them damn triggers. The chargers, bodies fill up them damn rivers. Cause everybody want to be the best rapper alive but i only like dead rappers compare me to the best rapper everybody want to be the best rapper alive but i only like dead rappers man he had uh, i'm not breaking this down because everybody want to be the best rapper alive but i only like dead rappers compare me to the best rappers who died and you rappers i used to look up to i gotta cancel you now like simon cow i can't let you x factor survive nah the time's right and they finally lime light and the god of this rhyme writing. My mic can only be likened to Poseidon's Triton and Zeus's lightning striking. My metaphors are what Thor was to the Norse Viking. I'm a born titan and that- I'm stopping you there, dude. Bring this back one more time. Cancel you now like Simon Cow. I can't let you X Factor survive. Nah. The time's right and they finally lime light and the god of this rhyme- Time's right and the found of the limelight and the gods and the I'm writing. My mic can only be likened to Poseidon's Triton and Zeus is lightning striking. My, my mic's like Poseidon's Triton, Zeus, and he goes into a lightning scheme, then goes into Thor. 
My metaphors were Thor was to the Norse Viking. I'm a born titan, and that point kill him like sword fighting. I'm slicing organs with songwriting. I dwarf giants. I hope I'm rubbing you pussies wrong, sort of like poor Dykin. I smoke philosophy. I snort science. That mean I'm higher than higher learning. Look in my eyes. That's where the fire's burning. Try to deny I'm music messiahs returning. Then you die and you fry in my iron furnace. I am on my get rich or die trying like when M was signing Curtis because I am murderous. Get rich or die trying like when M was signing Curtis 50 Cent. Yo, Crooked is so nasty. I am on my get rich or die trying like when M was signing Curtis because I am murderous. Joe Budden, Jersey City, New Jersey. Joe Budden? When did this come out? 2014? Yeah, I, I was too deep in my shit. Now, we can do this a couple of different ways. It really depends. Could give them classic NY jeans over the Thames. Or I could spit about my car and have it sit on the rims. Or I could tell you why I'm hot and disappear like Mims. But the bars... This is why I'm hot. This is why I'm hot. Disappear like Mims. That was Mims, the artist who had that song. Sit on the rims. Or I could tell you why I'm hot and disappear like Mims. But the bars there put that on guard. But he like disappeared. He dropped like that one hit. I think he had like one more after that and he was just gone. <laughs> I don't know if he got his money and skated or just stopped doing music. I don't know what it was. God, ask an atheist. And if I ain't the bomb, at least I'm in the blast radius. I'm beating these kids in indictment. Shit, I like the terror. AP, be on my actions. I'm in the Viking era. Moment of truth, I give you facts right now. Fuck the cypher. My mind ain't on rap right now. So it's fuck metaphors and punches, all the witty shit. Got a missing uncle and another need a kidney flip. Face says I've been stressed. I got an aunt getting her ass kicked by MS. Nigga, why am I here? For the look, for the promo. Shouldn't have bothered from the start. Cause the cancer left his lungs and it's on my grandfather's heart. Ooh, it's on my grandfather's heart from the lungs, cancer spreading, but also was like, why am I even here for the promo? I'm not even in this for this rapping shit right now. He said, I'm not feeling this shit right now. He really doesn't sound like he wants to be there. The ball did from the start because the cancer left his lungs and it's on my grandfather's heart. Yeah, just not the side that the beat is on. I'm supposed to put that to the side when the beat is on. I'm playing in a funeral. I'm well, he said, I'm supposed to put that to the side. So... The industry tells me, like, hey, you know what? You got human shit going on. We don't give a fuck. And that's how it is, man. When you got to put music out, you got to put music out. All that other shit doesn't matter. You got deadlines. They put money up on your rest to make sure you're making money. And if you're not fucking meeting your end of the deal, you're dropped. Beat is on. I'm supposed to put that to the side when the beat is on. I'm playing in a funeral. I'm getting the hearse ready. These niggas only want to ask me if the verse is ready. Now the how do I feel, now the how do I deal If that's life, the nigga has it real These last couple of days, I've been speaking to my peers Giving them cries for help, I guess they need to see the tears Wait, the wildest part See, I got a problem with that, Joe I really got a problem, I know, I know he's not watching this And I really don't give a shit if he is or not But listen, like you're, he's complaining about having to do a verse Because he's got shit going on, he's playing a funeral right now But you're on a fucking bridge doing a verse anyway so why not just fucking go all out instead of complain the whole time? Like he's kind of like throwing shade to his own label. You don't do that shit. Not when they backed you financially. I don't like that. Here's giving them cries for help. I guess they need. So if anybody's a Joe Budden fan, I'm a Joe Budden fan. I'm, I'm a huge fan. He's one. Of, I think he's an amazing lyricist. But I don't like this because he's complaining. You know what I'm saying? While he's still doing it, you might as well have just showed up. Had a hot verse, bounced out, and went to your funeral like all of us do. We all have work. We all have to fucking, you know what I'm saying, like not be there when family members die and shit. Like, I get where he's, where he's coming from, but he's just solidly complaining and throwing shade at the fucking label. Need to see the tears wait. The wildest part of all of that is they'll shoot a suicidal rapper right here on the bridge, but fuck it. Got a part in them. Shout out to my squad in them. House gang, shady, I'm gone, nigga. My job is done. He did not want to be there. Yellow Wolf, Gadsden, Alabama. So this appears, to, a, a, a pairs, a pairs. I need some pairs. I'd like some pairs right now. This appears to be, uh, well, Yellow Wolf is a slaughterhouse, but he was shining to uh, shady records, so they all were. My name is Wayne. I'm from Alabama. Here's a backstory. You know, this man is like in his 40s, dude. This dude, like he's in his 20s. I just fell off the turnip truck with Ernest Tubb. 
I'm 33, I got three kids, and I just popped three pills. Oh, he's 33 right here, I guess, but now he's in his 40s. Good thing, he looks young. I just fell off the turnip truck with Ernest Tubb. I'm 33, I got three kids, and I just popped three pills. I don't know which one's which or what it's for. Safety ain't really a habit I formed. I still smoke to the cigarette butt. I still drink till I end up being that klutz, clumsy, self-destructive dummy, stumbling over my words, mumbling. I'll probably do it tonight. Leave the bar, leave the car, and pass out like a fetus in the jar with my feet up to the stars. And dream mm. about that light that leads up to the Lord. I have nightmares about my mama getting beat up in the yard. Wake up feeling like half a human. Hit the studio and unleash this guilt and regret for my lack of union between rap, you and the rock and roll community. But unity between country music and MCs, I'm claiming immunity. Still I'm working, sawing, milling this tree, building this house exactly the way Charlemagne the God and Lord Jamar thought it would be. Wait a minute. The Lord and the God hate me. Jesus Christ, I am the white devil. <laughs> this man just took shots of Charlemagne the God and Lord Jamar. <laughs> Building this house exactly the way Charlemagne God and Lord Jamar thought it would be. The house of hip hop. Wait a minute. The Lord and the God hate me. Jesus Christ, I am the white devil. I like that. They hate me. Jesus Christ, I am the white devil. All playing a religious scheme too. Nah. I'm still working, sawing, milling this tree, building this house exactly the way I thought it should be. Wanna take a tour? Let's see. I got floor to ceiling windows in a cabin style mansion. Bucks, bears, trucks, boats, tires, spares, four-wheelers, three-wheelers, two-wheelers, a drug dealer on call. Plaques on the wall, racks on the wall for my guns on the wall. Lift kits, low riders, chop shops, high tops, low tops, cowboy boots, Dixie flags, American flags, slim American tags on my slow American ass. Um, <clears throat> CEO. I got my name on the bathrobe and the flame on the back porch is lit. Guess who's coming to dinner? Andre 3000 and Hank the Third. go figure. I was about to say, you know, it's funny he just said that, Andre 3000. He reminds me a lot of Eminem and Andre 3000 kind of mixed together. And there's a dude hanging out the window playing the damn banjo. I just noticed that right now. I've seen his foot. That porch is lit. Guess who's coming to dinner? Andre 3000 and Hank the Third. Go figure. I got two. It's a guitar in my mind. Two stand up jet skis. A top pedigree horse. Just a pet and feed, of course. Who rides a horse in Nashville? I might. I got bicycles for the kids. Tricycles for the babies, M80s, bottle rockets, bottles in my pocket, moonshine, gold watches, gold rings, all fake, no bling, don't hate, that's my thing. I got new clothes, old clothes, vintage, tremendous, endless style, Goodwill loves me, Macklemore, than you. Goodwill loves me, Macklemore, than you, like, loves me, <laughs> Macklemore, than you. Macklemore, you know, Macklemore is, uh, what was that song again? Uh, Thrift Shop. Yeah, something like that. Those vintage, tremendous, endless style. Goodwill loves me, Macklemore, than you. I got flat screen TVs with skate videos on repeat. All the latest CDs, MP3s, and Beats by Dre. Thank you very much, Jimmy Iovine, for the check. I got a black woman fine as she could be, Fifi, with a ring on her finger that could give sight to the blind. A five, a ten, a couple hundreds laying on the counter. I don't know where that came from. I got artwork from hard work. Yard workers for yard work. Don't look under the tarp, sir. I'm growing weed for my mama there. <laughs> what? I'm growing weed for my mama there. Don't look under the tarp, sir. Yeah, this is at face value, but it's very dope. For yard work. Don't look under the tarp, sir. I'm growing weed for my mama there. I got a paved driveway and photos in the hallway of me on my Harley, and I did it my way. See, hip hop is what you make of it, and I'm making a lot of it. See, that's a quadruple entendre, Jay Z. Eat your heart out. Damn. See, that was like some slam poetry shit, but I liked it a lot, dude. Now, I got artwork from hard work. That was nasty. I want to break more of this time. Like I said, it's a long fucking video, dude. Joel Ortiz, Brooklyn, New York. But these ciphers, I treat them like they a war. Don't want no media. You been wearing sandals? But these ciphers, I try. <laughs> right, some socks and some sandals. I respect it. I'm wearing socks and sandals right now. <laughs> I don't give a shit. Treat them like they a war. Don't want no mediators. Nah, this that grow up in the peas behavior next door to the greasy neighbors. People thank you. I do this for all the mean creators. I was someone who never needed favors to get where I'm at. Now they deem me a savior. But to be honest, I ain't feeling like that, man. I just really like rap. Y'all lucky. Trust me. 
I'm opposite the hands of Sandusky with the shit that my Ooh. Penn State these rappers can't oh. touch me. Ugly shit. Yo, ho, 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 Sandusky, Penn State, hands can't touch me. You gotta know about Sandusky. The Sandusky with the shit that my Penn State these rappers can't touch me. Ugly. Penn State to school. Holy shit. You serious? I'm hideous. I was better than all you silly kids while trying to figure out just who I really is. As a younger dude, life was something rude. I barely made it to the first, like a cutler move. No rubber groove on my Took a shot at my bears? <laughs> I barely made it to the first, like a cutler move. Oh, man, dude. I, I take cutler over with the... Well, no, we got feels now, but man, I still suck. Life was something rude. I barely made it to the first, like a cutler move. No rubber groove on my shoes led to fight, so suspensions I had three in one week. Yeah, that was public school. Did I say three and one? That's funny, because there's four of us in the slaughter. That's a three and one. I learned that Ooh. in public school, too. Like, what's in between a three and one? In house gang, I spoke to all three on one. Oh, two, like what I learned, a three and one, what's between a two? What I learned in public school, that was bad. That in public school, too. Like, what's in between a three and one? In house gang, I spoke to all three on one call. Like, I dropped two albums, and number three is one second from being done. Just need y'all three to send me one verse apiece for this heat maker's beat and brother's keeper one. Simple mathematics. I'm adding up to all these rap addicts. I don't like to divide dough, so I multiply flow and subtract maggots. Like a brand new craftmatic boy, I'm back at it, smoking these new boys like my last habit. That Smoking these new boys like a bad habit. I'm back at it. Crap, like his back hurts. Sleeping on a craftmatic bed. Madden up to all these rap addicts. I don't like to divide dough, so I multiply flow and subtract maggots. Like a brand new craftmatic boy, I'm back at it. Smoking these new boys like my last habit. Dab nabbit, I tried to quit, but everything I kicks like the last dragon. Hoes sucking my drummer <sighs> dick, they on my bandwagon. I just gotta laugh, because y'all pushing a lot of swag. I'm pushing this big old hearse. Don't get body bagged. Nasty. I think I think Joel's got the best verse. I uh, know Crooked's got the best verse so far. Crooked does, yeah. Royce to five nine. Detroit guy. Yeah. <laughs> These new rappers be asking me why I don't be hanging out where they be hanging out. I tell them I say, little nigga, listen here. If I don't got no business there, I don't got no business there. Mm. See, there's a difference here. You hustling so you could be seen. Nigga, I'm grinding so I could disappear. I don't do it like other rappers do. When it's zone time, it's skull and bone signs at the stoop. We got guns you only find on your cheat code screen. If you think I remind you of any of these niggas, you wildin' out like Chico Bean. Ah, uh, tell them, Royce. When it's zone time, it's skull and bone signs at the stoop. We got guns you only find on your cheat code screen. If you think I remind you of any of these niggas, you wildin' out like Chico Bean. When it's drama, I don't ask no questions. I just clap in that direction. I look at this gat like it's an actual accessory. I'm antisocial, so relax when you step to me. Nigga, I shoot the breeze with actual weaponry. Your little stare downs won't fare well. I got a pale conscience. I'm the gray area. The last person I had a bond with was a bail bondsman. <laughs> now imagine me hanging. The last person I had a bond with was a bail, bail bondsman. In other words, he hasn't related to anybody. He has no, he's had no bond with anybody besides a bail bondsman when he get bonded out of jail. Yeah, the last person I had a bond with was a bail bondsman. Now imagine me hanging with y'all and we rapping on the same song. Nigga, I'd rather juggle a couple of chainsaws or run through hell with a pair of gasoline hands on. I'm a star, but not on some I want to be a star kind shit. The only celebrity who give a fuck less than me is Marshawn Lynch. <laughs> Glock in the stash is a backup. You know, if you ever watched Marshawn Lynch, you need to go YouTube clips him or YouTube Instagram clips of Marshawn Lynch. Dude, he's a football player who does not give a fuck. Celebrity who give a fuck less than me is Marshawn Lynch. Glock in the stash is a backup, but the Macca burst. Cripple your style, your firstborn child to come out with a colostomy bag as the afterbirth. Ooh. I don't give a fuck. Nigga, I show up to Beyonce show posing as Jay-Z. Stagger in your studio session with a bomb strapped in my chest, looking like a Marion holding his baby. Jump in the faux do Mercedes with a faux faux listening to JoJo and Casey, drinking and sniffing enough blow that it got me thinking I can exchange sicknesses, maybe this Ebola for rabies. That's it, just living the rapper life. Banana clip in the air, looking like it's about to start singing this Mac tonight. Max, oh. I use this Mac as a component for thugs rolling up. 
I got this Mac on and you better stay in that corner cause shit can turn into that song except I don't give a fuck what day it is. I had oh, stay in that corner cause this shit could turn into that song. Oh my God. Max, I use this Mac as a component for thugs rolling up. I got this Mac on and you better stay in that corner cause shit can turn into that song except I don't give a fuck what day it is. I had this club going up. Fuck with me. Mac magnet attracting enormous green. Slap this clip in his gat, then caught his arm, Christy Mac, cause this bitch is that war machine. Life of a giant. Oh, Christy Mac got her ass beat by a war machine. He was an ex UFC fighter, dude. A smack clip in, dude. Whip. Mac magnet attracting enormous green. Slap this clip in his gat, then caught his arm, Christy Mac, cause this bitch is that. That arm, Christy Mac. That war machine. Life of a giant, but who needs size when you whacking your team soft? Drag your girl down this hill till she admits that it feels like she's jacking the beanstalk. We both. Jack and Jill. Was it up a hill or down a hill? Up a hill to grab a, a pail of water. Down a hill. I don't fucking know the damn nursery rhyme. I didn't have a childhood. But yeah, Jack. <laughs> what do you say? Jacking the beanstalk. Down this hill till she admits that it feels like she's jacking the beanstalk. Oh, but Jack and yeah, Jill, Jack and the Beanstalk. He just said I didn't hear it. My bad. We both got marketing plans. Yours is to sell records and try to net more than you gross before. Mine is to punch you in your face if you ever disrespect me and then go and invest into a grocery <laughs> store. Roll up with the Smith. <laughs> I'm not laughing at. Sell records and try to net more than you gross before. Mine is to punch you in your face if you ever disrespect me and then go and invest into a grocery <laughs> store. Roll up with the Smith and Wesson and drew on you like, let's fight now. I do numbers. I turn you and your crew into two plumbers. Translation, get your shit together and pipe down. Fuck up. Oh, two plumbers, get your shit together and pipe down. Yo, dude, but pipe down, be the f be quiet. You and your crew into two plumbers. Translation, get your shit together and pipe down. Fuck a mic. I don't write. I chew and spit. I shoot you and your sis if you insist. I got my Ooh. eyes on the sparrow. Silence is so big, it looked like I got Bobby Schmurter tied to the front of the barrel. And he doing this. Yo, first off, you gotta know who Bobby Schmurter is. Second off, dude. That line, hold on, bring it back one more time. I got my eyes on the sparrow. No. Translation, get your shit together and pipe, pipe down. down. Fuck a mic, I don't write, I chew and spit. I, I chew and spit, I shoot you in your sis if you insist. But like sis, like your sister, but oh. Also, like a sis, pick a spot, like a sis. Dude. Shoot you and your sis if you insist. I got my eyes on the sparrow. Silence is so big, it looked like I got Bobby Schmurter tied to the front of the barrel. And he doing this. Oh, fuck. Hold on. Hey, Eminem, seven minutes. Dude, uh, oh. Unless somebody goes after him, but he always goes last, man. That's what they do. That's how songs are created or freestyles and stuff like that. They usually have to have the best go last. It's so you get more streaming time for an actual song. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure most of you guys skip just to get to this part, but still should check out the other ones too. My name is Marshall. I'm repping that motherfucking Motor City, bitch. The bitch. This is this is Marshall, but we said Marshall. Slim Shady ain't here right now. He ain't got the beard. I just turned Slaughterhouse to a quintet, began a trend set, murdered a friend's pet, made shit as ill as it can get, went in depth like a fucking vignette, and two bars, skin's wet, I'm already covered in sweat, and I wasn't even ready to come in yet! Ah! What the fuck, dude? I mean, do you, what you... I turned Slaughterhouse into a quintet, a quint I can't say it. That motherfucking Motor City, bitch. Began the trend set. I just turned Slaughterhouse to a quintet, began a trend set, murdered a friend's pet, made shit as ill as it can get, went in depth like a fucking vignette, and two bars, skin's wet, I'm already covered in sweat, and I wasn't even ready to come in yet! Ah! Me set this drink down, beat up a gal, start beef with a pal, probably be wild till I'm wrinkled and see now, the rap god was a freestyle off the top of the dome piece while I was asleep on the couch, and I'm freestyling now! Rap guy was a freestyle at the top of my dome piece while I was asleep on the couch and I'm spitting everywhere now. 
<laughs> spitting everywhere. No, but he was saying he was freestyling that shit. That wasn't a freestyle, but he's saying, like, basically, like, yo, I did that shit in my sleep, dude. That shit ain't nothing. Freestyle up the top of the dome piece while I was asleep on the couch. And I'm freestyling now. I need a towel. Sweat leaks from my brow. It's burning my eyes. My cerebral is foul. Cause shit I'm thinking about should be illegal. I need my head banned. Like the guy who left Cleveland, Ohio and went to South Beach with his talents. Scream fuck you on the way out and wink with a smile. This whole game can eat a dick. I'm going back deep on the ground. But right now, I'm back on that bullshit. And you, I'm singling out. Cause you're so fucking outdated, you should mingle a while. <laughs> you're so outdated, you should mingle a while. But he was just taking shots at LeBron. Bring this back. The, the shit I think is foul, I should have my head banned. Hold on, bring this back one more time. Burning my eyes. Hold on. Styling now. I need a towel. Sweat leaks from my brow. It's burning my eyes. My cerebral is foul. Cause my thought, my cerebral is foul. My thoughts are foul, but foul also like a foul line. Shit I'm thinking about should be illegal. I need my head banned. Like the guy who left Cleveland, Ohio, and went to South Beach with his talent. I need my head banned. Like it shouldn't be allowed to think of things that it thinks, but also like a head band collects sweat. Scream fuck you on the way out. Wink with a smile. This whole game can eat a dick. I'm going back deep on the ground, but right now, I'm back on that bullshit. And you, I'm singling out. Cause you're so fucking outdated, you should mingle a while. Also threw in, I'm back on my bullshit basketball still, but also this is bullshit. What the fuck is this clusterfuck of busters, bunch of busted Douglases, motherfuckers, is one hit wonders, one swing in your crown. Knock one out the park, one catchy jingle, and now you think you fucking with me cause you sold like 300 thou? Bitch, I can jump. Without my feet ever leaving the ground Reach up, swing from a cloud With 3,000 people around Evil and vile enough to leap in the crowd And heave a child in a sinkhole on sequel to mile While I'm sprinkled in pico to guile <laughs> Mardi Gras beads in a towel What? I just made that up He said Mardi Gras be beads in a towel I was like, what is he talking about? Look at Royce I, the, Dude, that was nasty Bring this back one more time I'm breaking that down He never leaving the ground Re Hold on, hold on he said, you think you're fucking with me because you sold like 300 thou? One he said, I could jump without my feet ever leaving the ground. Wonders, one swing in your crown. Knock one out. One hit wonders, one swing in your, it's one swing in your crown. You have one hit and your crown is like the best rapper alive. He said, today's game is fucked up. Out the park, one catchy jingle and now you think you're fucking with me because you sold like 300 thou? Bitch, I could jump. Without my feet ever leaving the ground Reach up, swing from a cloud With 3,000 people around Evil and vile enough to leap in the crowd And heave a child in a sinkhole on Cinco de Mayo While I'm sprinkled in Pico de Gao Heave a child in a sinkhole on Cinco de Mayo While I'm sprinkled in Pico de, Pico de Gao Dude, <laughs> who's gonna heave a child into a sinkhole? I mean, I'm fucked up Evil and vile enough to leap in the crowd And heave a child in a sinkhole on Cinco de Mayo While I'm sprinkled in Pico de Gao Mardi Gras beads in a towel Let's made that up. I don't know much Spanish. I'm not bilingual, but I'll show you. That transition, Pico de Gallo. I don't know much Spanish. Made that up. I don't know much Spanish. I'm not bilingual, but I'll show you a Mexican standoff between just these two amigos, because neither really wants to say what we're thinking out loud, but I sure as fuck think I know how to read body English, no doubt, because we're trying to kill each other. But lyrically, fuck is humility. What is a real MC? Royce, he came up in this shit with me. Mm-hmm. Never spit that hustler shit, it wasn't a fit for me. Let them adjust till they just get the gist of me, just not giving a fuck. And plus, with a history of muscular dystrophy, it wasn't a mystery why this middle finger was stuck in this upward positioning. Plus, with a history of muscular dystrophy, it wasn't a mystery why this middle finger was stuck in this upward positioning. Because <laughs> he always was walking around like this. Uh, he said something, uh, he said, Royce, he came up in this, sh in this shit with me. Uh, I'll bring this back one more time. Show you a Mexican standoff. I'll show you this. I'll show you a Mexican standoff. Two amigos, two friends. Between just these two amigos, because neither really wants to say what we're thinking out loud, but I sure as fuck think I know how to read body English, no doubt. Because we're trying to kill each other, but lyrically, fuck is humility. What is a real MC? Royce, he came up in this shit with me. Never spit that hustler shit. It wasn't a fit for me. Let them adjust till they just get the gist of me. Just That's what he said. He said, uh, never spit that hustler shit. It wasn't a fit for me. He said, let them adjust until they could basically get used to me. So he let them adjust. Oh, but he was also saying, like, look, look this is hip hop. This is what we do. He's my friend, but we're trying to kill, kill each other lyrically. We, we're going to outshine one another because that's just what hip hop is. But it's still with respect. Never spit that hustle of shit. It wasn't a fit for me. Let them adjust till they just get the gist of me. Just not. 
Till they just get the gist of me. I give him the fucking plus with a history of muscular dystrophy. It wasn't a mystery why this middle finger was stuck in this upward positioning. So what in the fuck is a list to me? I'm used to not being on it. I expect it out of him. Heck with him, I'll get my respect without him. Ain't really been in the diamond since I put my first record out. But I could put a chain around my second album and wear it as a neck medallion. I got fucking chills, man. Even Royce went, woo! He said, I could wear my chain, my second, hold on. My second album is a neck medallion. A diamond, his album went diamond. Well, he's got two diamond albums, I think, with a third on the way. So what in the fuck is a list to me? I'm used to not being on it. I expect it out of him. What the fuck is a list to me? I, I expect it. They're not going to pay me my dues. They're not going to. Until this man dies, they're not going to pay him his dues. Heck with him, I'll get my respect without him. Ain't really been in the diamond since I put my first record out, but I could- I haven't really been in the diamond since I put my first record out. Like, he hasn't really been- he's not into that flashy shit. Put a chain around my second album and wear it as a neck medallion. That was one of the hardest bars I've heard, I think, since I started this reaction channel. I'm not kidding. Became a millionaire, went downhill from there. Became civil, office swivel chair, sterling silverware, screaming life is still unfair, till I get a real career. Fuck am I gonna do until then? This job is too fulfilling. Two kajillion pairs of super villain shoes to fill in the mood to kill till I plow my coop to villain to some children at the food pavilion at Build a Bear. There's levels to this shit, dude. I don't, any battle rapper, I know there's a lot of nasty battle rappers out there, dude, but they're just, they're, they can't do what M does, dude. And if, some can. Some can definitely battle rap probably better than M if it came to an acapella setting, but they can't make songs like him. You notice that a lot of battle rappers can't make songs. Sterling silverware, screaming life is still unfair. Someone's gonna come back like, oh no, this this battle rapper came out with the best song here. I'm just I'm just letting you know. It just if you go look at the history of battle rappers, a lot of them don't make the best songs. You know what I'm saying? Like Eminem was that one standout. Besides like Cassidy, which I was a huge fan of back in the day. Fair till I get a real career. Fuck am I gonna do until then? This job is too fulfilling. Two kajillion. This job is too fulfilling. Pairs of super villain shoes to fill in the mood to kill till I plow my coop to villain to some children at the food pavilion at Build a Bear. He's gonna run over some kids. Warriors mine them. Pro hide your cord on euphoria in the drug emporium line. I'm soaring, I'm pouring bike at him four at a time, ignoring the warning signs on him four. I go four wheeler riding, goring and violent, horrifying. You surely won't find the one more pouring than I am with this retaliatory rhyming for Gloria Steinem. But I finger like a witness. Show me a lineup. <laughs> I usually am abusive, but excuse me, ma'am. I guess I must have threw you for a loop like two can Sam when I said I could use the sample. I'm pointing out stuff that I like. Throw you for a loop but when you loop a song, but throw you for a loop like two can Sam Fruit Loops. I just like that line because Fruit Loops is also a program that's used. But excuse me, ma'am, I guess I must have threw you for a loop like two can Sam when I said I could use a sample. But use a sample, so like a chick, you know what I'm saying? Use a sample, let me hit, but also a sample, like, you know what I'm saying, from a song. Because you's a tramp, but look how you react to this trigger like when I call you a bigger dyke than the Hoover Dam. <laughs> I'll bring this back. But I finger like a witness. Show me a lineup. I usually am abusive, but excuse me, ma'am. I guess I must have threw you for a loop like two can Sam when I said I could use a sample. Because you's a tramp, but look how you react to this trigger like when I call you a bigger dyke than the Hoover Dam. You're playing right in the Lex Luthor's hand. It's such a ruthless plan. Might even lose a fan. But fuck it, Superman wouldn't change in a phone booth for Stan. Oh. I'm a brand new being, like Grand Pooba's band. Happy as Anderson Cooper having a tuba crammed in his pooper with lubricant. Wait, that's too... I can't. <laughs> What's fucked up? Didn't he do it? He did an interview with Anderson Cooper, didn't he? <laughs> that's fucked up, dude. Pooper with lubricant. Wait, that's too... I can't. As happy as Anderson Cooper. With, with whatever crammed in his pooper. I mean, dude, I can't. This is what I'm saying. Eminem's like a, a man-child. It's the best rapper ever. Since honesty is the best policy, I'll give it the old college try. Try to acknowledge my mistakes. Probably won't qualify as a gentleman and a scholar, but it's time that I swallow pride and say that I'm sorry. Sorry, I can't apologize. I think of all the times I compromised my bottom lines and thought of rhymes that sodomized your daughter's minds. Then I'm like, dollar signs. Oh, that was a shout out. Um, 
Who's the back end to give his name uh, right now? But that's what he says. He goes, dollar sign. He says it all the time. Ah, uh, fuck, I can't think of his name right now. It's sodomized, your daughter's mine. He said, I think of all the times a thought of rhymes that sodomize your daughter's minds. Scholar, but it's time that I swallow pride and say that I'm sorry. Sorry, I can't apologize. I think of all the times I compromised my bottom lines and thought of rhymes that sodomized your daughter's minds. Then I'm like, dollar signs. But I may fight for gay rights, especially if Faye Dyke is more of a knockout than Janae Rice. Play nice. Bitch, I punch Lana Del Rey right in the face twice no. like Ray Rice in broad daylight in plain sight of the elevator surveillance till the head is banged on the railing. Then celebrate with the Ravens. Never date an assailant who self-medicates with inhalants. I'd meditate, but I may need a better way to escape the aggression, rage, and the anger. Yo, Ray Rice whooped his girl's ass in the elevator till her head is banging off the railings and go celebrate with the Ravens, but he said Raylands to rhymes with Ravens. Dude, hold on. He said, I'll punch Lionel Del Ray, Ray Wright in the face twice. Like Ray Rice. Fight for gay rights, especially if Faye Dyke is more of a knockout than Janae Rice. And, and, and he was a running back for the Ravens. And he was a nasty running back, but he ruined his career beating, I don't know if it was his wife or his girlfriend. Play nice. Bitch, I punched Lana Del Rey right in the face twice like Ray Rice in broad daylight in plain sight of the elevator surveillance till the head is banged on the railing. Then celebrate with the Ravens. Never date an assailant who self-medicates with inhalants. I'd meditate, but I may need a better way to escape the aggression, rage, and the anger. Because leg restraints on the ankles, heavy weights in an anchor with handcuffs and chains. This ain't enough to contain it, but I'd still get the same respect as Jay if I came on. Stage in a fucking negligee every day in Liz Claiborne. Mm. Devastated from breakup with Kate Hudson. Wait, slut your friends. What are they going to say? Because makeup ain't going to cover that eye that's seven-eighths of the way shut. Pepper sprayed with your face cut. Kate Hudson? Doesn't she have her eyes squinty or something like that? He was dating Kate Hudson? Or is he just taking shots? Devastated from breakup with Kate Hudson. Wait, slut your friends. What are they going to say? Because makeup ain't going to cover that eye that's seven-eighths of the way shut. Pepper sprayed with your face cut. I don't know what he's talking about there. It sounds like he said he whooped. Kate Hudson's ass, but maybe he's just saying she's got some squinty eyes or something. I have no idea. Made my bank like a lay up off these effing skanks on the way up. Made my bank like a lay up. So you bank it off the backboard, but also made my bank my money off these effing skanks on my on the way up on your way up like a lay up. Oh, bitch thinks she's heaven sick. Mm. It's evident that she ain't never been with seven inches. Yes, I said seven. I measured it. Seven inches from the floor. While I'm standing on the fourth floor balcony at the Sheridan while I'm stretching it. Bitch, I'm a pimp, so a limp dick's all you ever get. Uh. So if she's hesitant to get the hint, I betcha that I get the message sent who she's messing with hella quick when I tell a chick not to ever use sex as a weapon when I step in and beat the wretched wrench with a crescent wrench. Step in to beat a crescent... I can't say that right. With a crescent wrench. Oh, hold on. Bring this back one more time. I'm gonna get the Sheridan while I'm stretching it. He said I measured it. Seven inches I measured. Bitch, I'm a pimp, so a limp dick's all you'll ever get. That's just so... Bitch, I'm a pimp, so a limp dick is all you'll ever get. You know, you walk with like a limp, but a limp dick. Like, he ain't getting hard for you. He doesn't give a fuck. So if she's head... Doesn't give a fuck, get it? ...to tend to get the hint, I betcha that I get the message sent who she's messing with hella quick when I tell a chick not to ever use sex as a weapon when I step in and beat the wretched wrench with a crescent wrench. A wretched wrench with a crescent wrench. This is something right before that, though. Don't use sex as a weapon. With hella quick when I tell a chick not to ever use sex as a weapon when I step in and beat the wretched wrench with a crescent wrench. Existential detriment to a lesbian devil and the unpleasant stench of an estrogen level. The separatist, the chesting and rebel, impressiveness with the pencil, a pessimist with his lips pressed against the edge of this red bull. What? Pedal to the metal, I'm ripping this shit, cause right away I'll give it to a bitch like a pedestrian, deadly as ever. Who takes a sip mid-freestyle? Uh, he was freestyling that. 100% he was freestyling that. With my lips pressed against the edge of this Red Bull, takes a sip, and it goes into some crazy shit about... Give it to a bitch like a pedestrian, deadly as ever. Like a chesting and rebel, impressiveness with the pencil, a pessimist with his lips pressed against the edge of this Red Bull. <laughs> what? Pedal to the metal, I'm ripping this shit, cause right away I'll give it to a bitch like a pedestrian, deadly as ever. 
see what kind of effect she has on the opposite sex when I push a flexible little sexy ass through a plate of plexiglass. Uh -huh. Shady XV ass, perplexing ass. The last 15 years, and I'm predicting my next relapse when I spit these lyrics. So don't look at me weird when I start shifting gears and shit resmears all over Britney Spears and these little Disney queers <laughs> who use chicks for beards. Who use chicks for beards? He said, "Yo, when I, sh I start switching gears and shit resmears and re all over Britney Spears, I mean, he goes back, starts dissing Britney Spears because in the beginning of his career, he was always dissing Britney Spears. I mean, all she was getting it. <laughs> she got it for like six, seven years straight. So shit resmears all over Britney Spears and these Disney queers who use chicks for beers. Basically, you know, they they have a girlfriend, but really they're in, they're they're gay. Is what he was saying. The right term would be homosexual. I don't know. I'm not familiar with that the community or anything like that. So please don't come after me for the terminology. I'm just saying what he's saying. Who use chicks for beards? <laughs> Boys can't keep a straight face, dude. <laughs> just made that up too. <laughs> I told you he's freestyling bits and pieces of this. Oh, in a shady 2.0. We wrote it in Roman numerals like they do for the Super Bowls Cause it's supposed to confuse you hoes So flows lose you as usual So juvenile, two year old when I go to the studio I don't mean to stop, but he just brought up the Super Bowl He's about to be performing, this man's predicting the future Oh, in a shady 2.0 We wrote it in Roman numerals like they do for the Super Bowls Cause it's supposed to confuse you hoes So flows lose you as usual So juvenile, two year old when I go to the studio It's only music, but don't be foolish though You don't know me through it, ho But you can blow me to it though And my homies view it Been known to lose it though So if I overdo it, you drove me to it When I step in the vocal booth Think I'm supposed to do a murder you on a fucking track Like Tony Stewart Yo, dude when I murder you on a track like Tony Stewart, the race car driver, kill somebody. But when I murder you on a track, like when on the music in the music studio, when you're on a song together, yo. Oh, but you can blow me to it though, and my homies Buick. But he, 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 you don't know me, but you could blow me. To, you could blow me to it though, and my homies Buick. So he's got a little car scheme right there with a girl blowing him, and that goes into the other car scheme, murder car scheme. Been known to lose it though, so if I overdo it. Been known to lose it though, like you lose control. But you drove me to it when I step in the Drove me to it Vocal booth think I'm supposed to do a murder you on a fucking track like Tony Stewart In one take If I fuck up and I don't redo it You couldn't sound grown on a beat If you were moaning to it The day I don't say fuck you all You can throw me through it He said you wouldn't sound grown on a beat If you were moaning to it Grown like you grown But also like Moaning to it, but grown, grown up. Oh, you couldn't sound grown on a beat if you were moaning to it. The day I don't say fuck you all, you can throw me through it. Rooting is tooting is shooting is from the hip with the cinnamon, cinnamon is impending and for the women. I'm an enemy to them in the epitome of a nigga instead of an idiot, but they consider me equivalent to chlamydia. They're trying to get rid of me, gadzooks. But I stick mm. and stand for the figgity flag of the United States and the freedom I distribute these raps to. And if I catch you doing anything hindering or prohibiting that, after I get me the tattoo with your lips on my ass, I'ma be literally picking up and deliberately whipping the Statue of Liberty at you. Whoa! Oh my Fuck god. It. Got it somewhere in there, probably. No, we gotta bring that back, dude. He said. Picking up the Statue of Liberty, the Statue of Liberty, and deliberately throwing it at you. Hold on, I he came at me that fucking that that quick flow without I. Hold on. Oh, in a shady 2.0. No. Well, you don't know me through it, ho, but you can blow me to it though. And my homies Buick will murder you on a fucking track like Tony Stewart. You couldn't sound grown on a beat if you were moaning to it. The day I don't say fuck you all, you can throw me through it. Rootin' is tootin' is shootin' is from the hip of the sin- Rootin' is tootin' is shootin' this? Like, he makes up his own damn language, dude. Do it. Rootin' is tootin' is shootin' is from the hip of the cinnamon, 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 and pinnin' him for the women. I'm an enemy to them in the epitome of a nigga instead of an idiot, but they consider me equivalent to chlamydia. They're trying to get rid of me, gadzooks. Yeah, just to, cons to consider me and compare me to chlamydia, they're trying to get rid of me, gadzooks. But he also was just talking about women. How basically they just hate him.
enemy to them in the epitome of an of an idiot, but they consider me equivalent to chlamydia. They're trying to get rid of me, Gatsuks. But I stick at the stand for the figurety flag of the United States and the freedom I distribute these raps to. And if I catch you doing anything hindering or prohibiting that after I get me the tattoo with your lips on my ass, I'm gonna be literally picking up and deliberately whipping the Statue of Liberty at you. Woo! Do uh he said basically if you take away my freedom of speech, I'm gonna pick up the Statue of Liberty and whip it at you. Who the fuck says that? Fuck it. Got it somewhere in there, probably. I don't know. He said he did that in one take. And I bet you he's not, I guarantee he's not lying. Royce is standing right next to him, dude. You wouldn't say I did this in one take. If your, if your boy's standing right next to you. They call you out real quick. Especially in hip-hop. Dude, that was the same, man. My ears are sweating. Are they red? Are they red? Holy shit! <laughs> Holy shit! That was my brain trying to process everything, dude. That was nasty. This is a long video. I gotta get going. Eminem just fucked me up for the weekend. It ain't even the weekend yet, but I'm, I'm preparing in advance. I'm fucked up. Have a wonderful weekend. Please stay safe. Um, if you need me, reach out to me. Instagram's down below. They all snapped off. If I had to rank verses, what, what, what verses? Um, it would go Eminem, Royce, Crooked, Yellow Wolf, Joel Ortiz, Joe Budden. That would be my order right there. Yellow Wolf had a nasty, uh, nasty uh, verse. So did Joel. So those two I'm in between on. But I liked Yellow Wolf's like slam poetry, like slash. Got this southern twang to it, and he doing a little bit of singing in there. It was dope. I liked it a lot. But this was a good thing. This is a good, good thing. A good freestyle to watch. Um, if you guys got any any more like this, let me know. Comment down below. I'll check them out for you. If you like this, throw me a like, subscribe, hit the red button. I see it in my analytics, guys. If you guys are liking and subscribing for Eminem content, I'll be sure to get to it right away. Um, stay safe. If you need me, like I said, Instagram's down below. I'm here for you 24-7. Uh, what else is there? I don't know. Let me know what's next, guys. I love you. Thank you so much. Uh, there's no trophy acceptance because this isn't a song. They get the clap. No pun intended. Yeah, this was dope, though, man. This was dope. Let me know if there's anything else like this out there that I need to check out. Keep in mind, guys, anything from 2010 to now, I haven't really heard because for my career reasons, people always ask me, well, I haven't heard this yet. I told you, for writing, I can't, I haven't been listening to a lot of music because it affected my writing, and now I just don't give a fuck anymore. So uh, just let me know what I have to check out, all right? I love you. Stay safe. Reach out if you need me. Follow me to the next one, and let me know what it is by commenting down below. Quick beats out.